Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to Genesis. Today we're going to be doing a little bit more taming. This time we're going over to the volcano biome. I want to try to get one of those X rock elementals that we've been seeing in there. And I was over there doing quite a bit of harvesting for chitin to make some cement paste. And I found one and he's right by kind of one of the entrances that I go in and out of. So it should be not too bad. It's a level 90. We don't need a super high level one because we're going to be just using it for adding to our collection. And he can't breed them, so it doesn't really matter how high of a level it is. Tell you what, put you guys into here real quick. Just so that they're out of the way. So I made up 60 cannonballs, which are done, finally. I want to take two of the cannons with us. That way we have our primary plus a backup. And we are going to be right, pretty much out of resources by the time that's done. All right, let's leave all of you guys. We'll leave the Anki. We're going to need the Shadow Mean. We're going to need to get all of our hooked meat out of here. It's all of my spider meat, man. <laughs> There's a ton of it from being in that volcano. Everything respawns so fast in there, it seems. By the time I got down, got a kind of full on my carry weight, came back up, everything had already respawned. So we're going to take one of you. Let's start getting some of our building stuff. So like I said, I usually use metal, but since we don't have all that and we got a ton of tech left over, we're kind of going to be building with that. It should be fine. It's really expensive, especially if stuff starts to get destroyed. Let's take 20. I'm kind of worried about weight going in. So we'll be able to come back here really easy to get stuff. We'll use our teleporter, drop a beacon. You can teleport here, grab some stuff, and go right back. So it's not that big of a deal. I don't know if we need these for sure. We'll take 10. And we'll take 10 of these as well. How's our weight? Horrible. 25, 20. So that's it for there. Let's build a storage. That'll be for our cannonballs and stuff. We'll get those at the end. We're going to need to come back for more pillars. I already know that, so it's not that big of a deal. Cool. I think we're kind of set. Let's grab a little bit of medical brew. Just in case, we are going into the volcano. I forgot it when I was getting all my chitin and almost died a couple times, mainly because of the heats. And we'll get water right outside of base there. All right. Let's head over and hopefully get our place set up. All right, we'll get water right here. We're going to have to use that to survive down in there because of the temperatures. And I'm kind of worried because I haven't seen the volcano erupt. I was in there for quite a while, like I said, getting some resources, and the volcano never erupted, so I don't know how that works. I'm kind of worried about being down in there, getting this rock elemental knocked out, and then start the taming process and have the volcano erupt, and then everything dies. If it does, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how that works. I really don't want to have to find out in the middle of taming something. And then as far as taming goes, so we've got a little bit of kibble left, and then we got sulfur that we can use to tame them. And there's a ton of sulfur up here, so I might take the kibble, and if for some reason something goes south and we start getting bombarded by a lot of creatures and stuff, maybe we'll throw the kibble in them. But I'd like to save what we have because we're getting kind of low, and I don't want to have to go back to Lost Island to make more. But as you can see, this cave is like super close to where base is. It kind of has me worried there was a Magmasaur right inside of here. Yep, he's still there. Oh, man. I drug him over as I was leaving out. Oh, there's a spider too. Okay, so he's dead. He went flying. There's centipedes. All this stuff was gone. Stop reloading! All this stuff was gone whenever I left out of here. Is that another rock elemental? Wait, is that our... What if that's our level 90? It's not. Oh, there's two level 90s in here. There's that one. Ooh, the color changed. There's that one, and then... Whenever I left, I left ours down here. Yeah, there's the one I want to tame. Interesting. So there's two of them. There's another one. Oh, it's a 150. I don't have enough cannonballs to do that. Are you still following me? You are. Let's see what the colors look like. Because the one I want to tame that's over here is like super blue color. And I mean, you know how I am about blue. Oh, and this one's super red. No, I don't think I want to tame this one. We don't have the resources for it anyways. 
There's a bunch of centipedes I don't want to deal with. All right, let's drag you up here because right down here in this little gully is where I was going to build our trap. He wasn't here before, so that's kind of a, a new addition. Oh, don't hit me with your spit. Don't go into the lava. Oh, man, boy, I tell you what. Oh, there's a magma sword down there. All right, so we're in a bad place. Seems how I want to build right here. <laughs> We've got three rock elementals around and then more magma sores. I think we'll be fine. But yeah, right up there is a bunch of sulfur and stuff. So, we'll see. We might use sulfur to tame it. Anyways, for right now, let's start building before something else happens. So let's start off with a pillar. And we're going to be building four wide. And even though we don't need these supports, I like putting them out. It, it makes it look like it's just not a floating structure, you know? Let's go this way. Well, let's go this way with it. We're going three by four because they are big creatures. Might have to get rid of that metal, which is fine. Take it back to base with me. There we go. Now it's not free floating anymore. We'll put the ramps. Oh, man. We got to drag him away. Oh, we got to drag him away. Why did you come back over here? Don't smack me. Well, that's, that's, that's rude. We're definitely not taming it now. And he is not happy at all. Holy crap, dude. Calm down, man. Calm down. It's too bad that he's red. And that we don't have more cannonballs. It'd be awesome to tame that one. Oh, that is... Yep, okay. It's gonna be... It's gonna be... Yep, it's gonna be like that today. Fantastic. Of course, reload. Always gotta reload. Let's go ahead and reload now. Let's drag him this way. Just to get him away from everything. Because as soon as we start this taming process, I do not want him deciding he wants to come over, join in our party, where he's not welcome or invited. There's another magma sword. <laughs> Fantastic. Watch, we're going to get everything built. Ready to go, and it's going to say the volcano is erupting. Okay, now we got this guy getting mad too. All right, is he over here? He's doing something else. Okay. Let's not aggro the one that we want to tame. Probably try to jump over him. <gasps> not to the other one. There we go. Anyways. Where we were. Alright, man. Can we please have a few minutes? Please do not respawn. Everything respawns so fast like I was saying, dude. Alright, so that's to get up here. Put the gun away. We don't need it out. I would do... <sighs> we good? We'll do some pillars. <laughs> uh. Alright, so these are going to be higher. I just... I don't want to put them out yet. I want to get some of our stuff set out. It's like over there guarding something. We're going to be three away. And then we'll start building ours. And I think it's three high we need to go. I think. It's been a very long time since I've done this. And I know what you're saying. That's off center. I know. It's going to be in line, though. Right? That's why we build it off to one side there. That way it's going to be in line with this directly when we're done. And then our cannon will go up there. I know. I know. You're hot, man. We're in a volcano, dude. That's the way it works here. One, two, three, four, five. I think we need to go six high. So these are going to protect us from his cannonballs. Or from his rocks. I think that's high enough. And these don't need to be quite as high. We're going to need more. We're going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we need eight more on the pillars. Let's see. We might be able to just do it like this. 
I usually put a ladder here, but since we got the ramps, that's actually going to be a lot easier. Cool, so what the plan is, we'll probably have to use the Ravager. I don't think the Shadow Mean can fit through that little opening. But we'll get aggro. We'll run him up here. I need to put the rest of these out. We'll run him up here. He'll get in here and get stuck, right? Because we're going to have some more of the walls up. The Ravager comes through. We get off the Ravager right about here. That way he's close enough to where he'll keep aggro, right? The guy will be centered on him. We'll run over here. Jump up. Our cannon will be ready with our storage next to it. Get, get it kind of lined up directly. And then we can go ahead and fire off as many as we need to to get him knocked out. I'm hoping 60 will be enough. I think it will be. We'll see. And let's put... We don't have anything extra in here. We'll leave those here for now. We'll have our extra cannon in there just in case something happens. I think we're far enough away where we don't have to worry about it. We might make one or two double doorways. We can always put those right here in the front. And that'll be a little bit extra protection for our cannon. Those things are so fragile, you know? Alright, so all we need is eight pillars and then all of our cannonballs. And we'll be set. We can start dragging him over. We'll have to kind of loop out and around a little bit. I'll probably clear out all the other stuff around here too. But let's do this. Throw you into there. We'll go up here. We'll leave our beacon. Alright, let's go back to base and get our stuff. Alright. So first things first. Let's grab our pillars. I think it was just eight. Let's drop you. Let's take ten. Just in case. I mean, it's it's going to be fine. Oh, we do need to get water here, too. And we'll throw you out. Load you up with cannonballs. It's another reason why I wanted to put those otters in the soul traps. Because I'm going to have to take the regular teleporter over so that I can take the ravager, you know? We might be able to grab all the cannonballs at once. Oh, that'd be awesome if we can. I know it's a super... Everything carrying all the cannonballs. Nope, gonna have to make two trips, I think. Ah, uh, maybe. Awesome, yep, that should be fine. And I want to keep these on me just because we're gonna need some anyways. Do the uh, <laughs> slow walk. That's why I like putting that beacon down where we did. Alright, back we go. The volcano is about to erupt. What do you mean it's about to erupt? It better not erupt. I wonder if we got enough time. I wonder how long that takes. I notice it says that almost every time that I teleport back into here. So I wonder if that's kind of like a little bug. I hope it's a bug. Last time I did that, I just ran out. So I don't know if it was actually going to erupt or not. We'll just do it that way. And we're going to keep a couple on us. There we go. That'll work. Awesome. Let's set up the rest of our pillars, and we should be good to go. All right, so those are tall enough. Put two onto you. That's just to hold them in here, you know. Put one more there. One more there. Alright, I think we're good. Let's put a couple more up top. Since we have them. Just for extra protection. But that should be... That should be good. And you're on passive, right? You are. Alright, dude. No spiders. No snakes. No centipedes. Smack him a little bit. Yeah, see how blue he is? Now you see why I wanted him? <laughs> I see that scorpion over there. We use a shotgun on him. Maybe. You gonna come this way, buddy? Are you stuck in the rock? I tell you what, that color change is always weird. Alright, let's get rid of the scorpion first. Alright, let's get you lined up. So our Ravager is gonna take a good little bit of damage here at, at the start of it from all of that. But we really need him to have aggro... 
Alright, so he's up in there. Fantastic. He's a little far away, but it might be alright. Might be alright. Perfect. Nice. We want the low damage. That means we're hitting him where we should. And that is not high enough to block from... His things. His rocks. Where is it? I think that was my... Storage chest. Nope. I get a bunch of these. Keep hitting them. We're doing good. I don't know how many it's going to take. I'm really hoping 60 is enough. Tell you what, I can't take that many to the face. I need to watch out and make sure I don't shoot one when he's... Oh, like that. I almost hit the button. I don't want to do any damage to him because he's, uh, he's actually pretty fragile when he starts shooting with cannonballs. All right, a little bit more. At least we still have aggro on him. That's the thing. If you get too far away, you know, he won't keep aggro. Then he'll start running around the trap. Oh, <gasps> nice. He's down. Fantastic. I totally forgot to bring the kibble, but it's fine. We're going to use sulfur. Let's go grab some. Should really be on the shadow main for this. And don't get aggro from that other one. That's the thing. All right, let's start off with that. Get some in there, just to get them taming. I'll probably get the Shadow Man out just so that we can protect him a little bit better. Oh, dude, that is fantastic. There you go, buddy. You eat up. We'll see how much he gets off of one little thing of sulfur. And like I said, we might end up going ahead and grabbing the rest of our kibble just because, I mean, this is kind of a, it's a bad place to tame. All right. But yeah, we'll see how he does. I'd like to take some of this metal back with me. 2%. Oh my gosh. We are going for the kibble. Let's leave that in there. The thing I'm worried about is if I leave, if it's going to... Sometimes it messes it up when you're not by. Your, your team kind of gets messed up and it disappears. I got to do it. We can't be waiting that long. That's 2% for each one. Holy crap, that's going to take forever. Leave a beacon. Be right back, buddy. Please do not disappear. All right, we're here for two things. Kibble and water. Water. Nice. Kibble's in the fridge. Fantastic. Let's leave our little bit of stone. Back we go. Oh, you're still here. Thank goodness. All right. So leave you that. I don't want to leave that many. We'll see how much that gets for the kibble. So that's like, what was it? 2.1%? Please do not erupt, man. At least there's no other... Oh, there's a centipede. I'm not going to say it. There's a spider too. Yep. Just thinking it. And stuff's coming around. I was going to say, at least there's nothing around here trying to kill us. Let's turn this on. All right, it's going to take him a little bit to get his food down enough to eat a piece of kibble. It always happens that way. So I will see you when he takes a bite, and we'll kind of judge on how his, his taming is going to be. Let's see if we even have enough kibble. I hope we do. Oh, wait, there we go there. So 37.8%. That's not bad. We're going to go ahead and use that. It's going to be one, two. We'll leave three in there. That'll leave us 10 extra pieces. That is a huge difference between kibble and sulfur, man. Oh, dude. Oh, nice. There he is. Dude, I was trying to find a rock elemental saddle. And there's nothing. Nothing under elemental. Nothing under golem. I don't know. We'll have to get back to base and see... See what we need for a saddle for this dude. I know you need a saddle for him. So, I'll take that back. Thank you. Tamed out to be at level 129. 
Its health is 8,300. Stamina is 780. Weight is 963. 265.7 on the damage. Not too bad, especially considering it was only a level 90. We'll leave this trap here. We might end up getting that other one later. Throw you in here for right now, buddy. Oh, dude. I like the colors on him, man. All right, let's head back to base. Try to get us a saddle made. Take it for a spin. All right, let's see what we need for a saddle here. I wonder why that didn't show up in my Ingrams. Can we make one? We can. <laughs> nice. Oh, we're going to take him out in space here. I bet he'll feel a lot lighter, you know, having all that weight lifted up off of him. <laughs> it's going to be horrible trying to maneuver him, though. All right, there's that. Let's drop off the sulfur. Let's drop off our kibble. It is still almost morning time, so we should be able to get out here without being in the sun. I think I have my my suit on me, though, right? I do. All right, Junior. Yeah, I always like these things because they're so big. Yep, uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> Let's take you for a spin. Where's a Rex at when you need one? Yeah, they're all scared now. There's one. I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and just put the suit on. I don't want any problems with it. So I'm guessing he doesn't take any damage. Oh, dude, you're like stuck in the ground there, aren't you? Let me help you. 324. That is not too bad. Oh, and poof, he's gone. 324 is not bad for base damage. Oh, you stuck, buddy. Oh, I can't throw that far. 418. Oh, I just got you unlodged. So most of his stats will end up putting into health and then damage. A little bit into health. Mostly into damage. <gasps> We're out of stamina. I guess a little bit into stamina too. Oh dude, we might not uh might be in a bad spot here. What level is this thing? Alright, let's do this. <laughs> He's a big dude, man. He's got a hard time breathing. There we go. Oh, it's a 135. Okay, I don't feel so bad then. We didn't get any levels from that either, though. So I do need to put some sulfur in. I should have kept some on me. I think you use that for food, right? Sulfur or is it stone? Yeah. That, that last boom always gets me. Oh, man, I think we'll leave that Rex alone. Just because, well, I mean, it'll be good points. Let's go ahead. We'll see what level it is. If it's like a level 150 or 180, <laughs> we're going to run the other way. Where did he go? I tell you what, man, he gets around fast. 24. We'll take it out. Let's get our stamina back. Catch our breath a little bit. He'll come to us. We don't need to go to him. We go give me some level ups i'm gonna put it right into damage nice man nice can i get my stuff oh there we go let's drop all of that and then oh we got eight points all going into damage anything else around here to smack on to see what our damage went up to we'll pick on one of these stegos real quick before we go Buddy, let me talk to you for a minute. Oh, he's going to... Well, yeah, that's a bad thing to test on because they get that uh, the damage reduction. We'll smack around that Parasaur here in a second. Surprise, his buddy didn't come for me. going to be out of stamina here in a second. Oh, dude, I shouldn't have messed with the Stego. Four levels, though. Just one swipe. I just want one swipe. So it's up to 441. That's not too bad. It'll be pretty good. We need to get a lot of stuff into his stamina. Health needs to get up around 15,000. And then we should be fairly good. I think I have some better saddles over on Lost Island. 
that I got whenever I was on Scorched Earth? Possibly, I think. I could be thinking wrong, I don't know. But, not too bad of a day, man. We got us a huge rock elemental, and he's blue. <laughs> it can't get any better than that. And we didn't die. I was so worried about getting the in the volcano and having it erupt, but it, it turned out fairly well. However, we are gonna go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you like our new team, man. I am so glad we got him and got it done without any problems. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.